Evening, kiddos. It's Wednesday night. I'm Mr. Cummings, so you know what that means. It must be first catechism tonight. And with us tonight is Aslan. Yay! Now, if you remember, because we're uh, back at church now and because we're having the special family uh, activity in the morning on Sundays, we're not gonna we're gonna stop doing the the first catechism questions and recordings. But you'll see me around at church. So if you ever have any questions or just want to say hi, just wave and say, hi, Mr. Cummings, and I'll be glad to talk to you, okay? So I'm excited to see you um, this Sunday. Um, Aslan decided he would like to join us tonight. I said, sure, he's very excited. Um, he loves First Catechism Night. And tonight's question is question 46. 46, let's see what it is. Question 46 says, how then can you be saved? And the answer, let's, let's say it together, by the Lord Jesus Christ, through the covenant of grace. Again, by the Lord Jesus Christ, through the covenant of grace. One more time. By the Lord Jesus Christ, through the covenant of grace. That's right. What does that mean? Well, it means that God made a promise. That's a covenant with us of grace. Grace means getting something we don't deserve. And it's a good thing our forgiveness through sins, and it comes through Jesus Christ. So there's only one way we can be saved, and that's by getting a free gift of salvation, of, good, of, of forgiveness from the Lord through the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what that means. And it's, Jesus explains it in John 14, 6. And John is, the book of John is a gospel. That's a, the gospel is a book about Jesus. John was a disciple of Jesus, and in it we have Jesus' words. It says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. You see, Jesus saves us. That's right, Aslan. Excited about that? That's right. Jesus saves us. And how does he do that? Jesus is the way. He tells us, right in that passage we read, that the only way to the Father, that is the only way to God, is through Jesus. We can't get to God on our own because we're sinners. But because Jesus died for our sins, he made, he made the way to the Father for us. So he is the way through his death is how we uh, get to the Father. That is that God hears us in prayer. God saves us from our sins. God loves us because of what Jesus did on our behalf. Jesus is the truth. Everything Jesus said in the Bible is true. And he told us about God's love for us. He told us about our need for a Savior. And he told us that he is our Savior. And he's also the life. We have eternal life with Jesus. We are safe in him. We will live forever with Jesus Christ because of everything he did. That's right. It is very exciting. So remember, as you lay down tonight, that Jesus is the way to God. He is the truth. He is the life. And therefore, he saved us from our sin. All right. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. We are so thankful, O Lord, to you that we have this good news, this covenant of grace, this promise from you that we are safe and secure in the arms of Jesus Christ. We ask that we be so thankful for the grace we've received that we would tell other people about Jesus. Remind us to never have, that we never have to be afraid or scared because of our sins, but that we can tell you everything we've done wrong because you have already forgiven us even before we tell you. And we pray all this in Jesus' name and all God's children said, Amen. Well, it was great talking to you. If you ever have a question, you can ask your parents to politely ask them to send me an email. But of course, you'll see me at church and you can just ask me questions there too if you'd like or just wave and say hello and I'll say hi right back. It's been great talking to you. Remember that um, I love you, the other elders love you, and Pastor Olson loves you, and we will talk to you soon at church. Bye-bye.